Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be discussing my July favorites. And it's crazy how quickly July went by. So much has happened. I visited family in Ohio, and then straight after that I had to move all of my stuff from LA back to Texas. So I finally moved into my filming room, and I'm just so excited to start filming more videos for you guys. And also, um, the Halloween season is coming up, so if you guys have any requests, go ahead and start putting them in the comments down below, just so I can go ahead and start to get those ready. I am so excited for the Halloween season. I have so many ideas planned, but I would definitely love to hear input from you guys. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the video. So my first favorite of the month is actually a lipstick, and currently I am using the NYX Butter Lipstick in the color Pops. I absolutely love this. It is very lightweight and moisturizing, which I really appreciate because half the time I'm not wanting to wear a matte lipstick that's just drying out my lips. So I really appreciate that in this lipstick, but also I love the color. It is a nice dusty mauve pink, and I really like that because that can kind of go with anything I'm wearing. I could be wearing this outfit, I could be wearing a yellow outfit, a black outfit, like I could be wearing anything and it would just fit perfectly. So I highly recommend this product. So my second favorite of the month actually pairs in with my lipstick. I like to put this on top. This is my Smashbox lip gloss in the color Candid. I really like this because I don't usually wear lip glosses that have shimmer in them or I barely wear lip glosses in general. Um, but this one is kind of a coppery peach and it has some nice gold and copper shimmer inside of it and it's kind of iridescent. But I will top this on top of my NYX lipstick and I just feel like it creates a nice summery fresh look and it's just kind of illuminating for your lips so this is something I didn't think I would like but I actually fell in love with it so I highly recommend this. Another favorite I have liked recently and this is a buffing brush. This is my Morphe E31. I started using this after I would apply my foundation because I started to notice my foundation was looking a little streaky and then I have to go grab a beauty blender and start buffing it out with that. But I started to use this instead and I literally feel like this is just a beauty blender and brush form. I will apply my foundation and I will just in circular motions buff it out and it doesn't really take off too much product. It just, it settles it in more I think. It just, it makes your, my skin look smooth and flawless and so that is definitely something I want. So I highly recommend this brush for that reason and I definitely think you should try it out. This is probably one of my favorite brushes ever. Oh my goodness, it's my favorite. <laughs> Another favorite of the month is actually my Morphe Y12. I started to do cream contour recently, and so for that I needed a new cream contour brush because I uh, lost my other one. So I went to the Morphe store and I saw this, and I was like, why not just give it a try? And I fell in love with this. I feel like it creates a nice natural crease. It's not too sharp, but you can also be more defined in the way that you use it. And so depending on the angle, so yes, the Morphe Y12. The next favorite is my last brush for this video. This is the Morphe G24. I love blending brushes. I feel like I could have a million blending brushes and I'd just be like, oh, they're so different. They do different things. Oh my god. Like, I just love them. So I picked this one up and I just felt like it was tapered nicely and it wasn't too heavy and it was just, I thought it'd be nice. So I started using it and I fell in love with it. This is probably my second favorite blending brush tied to my Equal Tools one, which sadly I don't think you can get anymore, but I highly recommend this one if you can't get the Equal Tools just because this is the best blending brush I've used. And I've been using some MAC ones too, so I would definitely check it out, the Morphe G24. Another favorite of the month is my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit in the color Fair. I've started to do cream contour recently. And I've just fallen in love with it. And I love the formula of these. They're very smooth and lightweight, which is really nice for the summer. I don't want to feel like my makeup is wearing me down. And I've mostly just been using these three contour shades. And I will mostly use the one in the middle, followed by the darkest shade, just to deepen it a little bit more. So I highly recommend this. Y'all should definitely check it out. I've also been loving the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora palette. I thought... I would love the Moonchild palette and I've been using it a little bit, but overall I feel like this just has more wearable colors on a day-to-day -day basis and I think especially for summer because they're bright and I've been taking advantage of the Eclipse and Lyra a lot and I've been topping those on top of my um, That Glow Glow kit 
and I just love adding a little bit more color to my makeup, especially if it's just a natural look. I'll throw those orange highlighters on and it just it's just brightening. It doesn't look funky or I'm an Oompa Loompa or anything like that. It's just a very fun summery highlight and so I, I loved it so much. Another favorite of the month is my Morphe 35O palette. I have been going through this this month, especially now that we're starting to slowly go into fall a little bit. I'm starting to go a little darker with my colors, but this has multiple bronze and gold and champagne colors. You have your nudes, you have your mattes, you have your shimmers, you have some burnt oranges and cranberry colors. And so I just, I've loved playing with this this summer. I feel like if you just want an affordable, summery look that you have a beautiful color selection, I highly re recommend getting the Morphe 35O palette. And my last favorite of the month is not makeup, it is a soundtrack. Now I've been doing all my Broadway body paints and I'm still doing them. I still have plenty more that I plan on doing, but I'm kind of wanting to incorporate more beauty and special effects looks into my channel. So I'm going to try and find a nice balance. Let me know if y'all have any recommendations of what y'all want to see more of, if y'all want to see more beauty, if y'all want to see more special effects, or if y'all want to see more body paints, just so I can gauge what y'all are interested in and what y'all want me to put out more of. But anyway, I have been listening to the Finding Neverland soundtrack. Now, I had done this body paint on my best friend Haley, and I I did it because I thought the I thought the poster was pretty. I hadn't really heard a lot of the music. I saw them do it at the Tonys a few years ago, but I hadn't actually heard their soundtrack. And so I was listening to it as I was applying the body paint, and I was just falling in love with the music. I thought it was absolutely beautiful and it just it took my breath away like it's so emotional but it's also fun and it's adventurous and it's very imaginative and that's what I love about the music is when you can kind of see a story play out in your mind just by listening to music so I absolutely love that and that just made me love the body paint even more so y'all should definitely check it out. And those are my favorites for the month. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Please feel free to leave comments down below what videos you'd like to see next. I actually really appreciate that. I'd like to know what you guys want to see more of. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!